Money no object, what is your dream car? A blood red Ferrari or maybe a 700 horsepower McLaren? Spectacular cars, but who can even afford that? And what happens when you've got to park it on the street or carry any luggage? Back in 1975, a few renegade employees at Volkswagen had this simple idea to build a really affordable car that you could drive to work every day and then take to the track on the weekend. And so the Golf GTI was born. And in the beginning, the salespeople thought it was a really stupid idea that the company would only sell maybe 500 of them. To date, Volkswagen has sold more than 2 million. This is the seventh generation GTI. And just like the original, it's still available with the red stripe on the grille, the golf ball gear knob, and these plaid cloth seats. And it's still decently affordable at $30,000. So what makes the GTI more fun to drive than your average compact car? Well, for one, the steering, it's meaty. It's got some weight to it. It feels crisp. There's no slack here. The engine's got useful low-end torque that makes it peppy in traffic, and the suspension is comfy, but it still provides huge grip and composure when you start going faster around corners. It stays really flat. The chassis doesn't get flustered as it would in lesser compact cars. It feels like a precision instrument. Go ask any of your car-savvy friends for advice on a new car, and probably the GTI will get mentioned. Sure, the Honda, Subaru, and Ford all have cars that share the same basic formula, but the GTI is the original. For over 40 years, this thing has been trying to provide some of those exotic car thrills to people on all too real budgets. 